Hi friends, welcome to this video. Today I have an exciting topic. We're talking about the Black Friday sales. I'm going to be sharing with you my shopping strategy, what is on my wish list, what I'm planning to purchase. I think that when it comes to Black Friday, there are two types of people. Some of them are going to completely decide to skip the Black Friday sales. They're not even going to look at what the Black Friday sales are offering. And there is the other type of people that are going to follow the trend, like shop till you drop. And after the sales, and they are going to end up having so many products that they don't need that they're going to start returning makeup products and beauty products and fashion and everything that they purchase during the sale. So in this video, for the first time ever, I'm going to share with you my wise um, and reasonable shopping strategy, what I do usually during this time of the year, because I like to take advantage of the Black Friday sales, but I like to apply a strategy, a certain strategy, and I never end up returning products. I'm gonna ask a shocking question. Is Black Friday dead? I know that a lot of you have decided to go on a no buy because a lot of people have been frustrated. A lot of people have, be, have been feeling uninspired lately from the new makeup collections, but I think that Black Friday is all about restocking your favorites, really thinking and creating a strategy and you can do incredible savings and you can turn it into your advantage because it is one of a kind event. Um, it only happens once a year and I have looked at some of the sales and I'm going to share with you the sales that I like the most and that the products that I recommend. And as we go along also, I'm going to share what is on my wish list and what is on my shopping list and what I'm planning to purchase. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab a drink. This video might be a little bit longer. Now I'm going to be looking at my laptop because I have already done some research. And before sharing with you my wish list and what I'm going to shop during the sales, I just wanted to give you my shopping strategy. I'm going to have links to all of the products that I mentioned and all of the sales in the description box. And if you would like to support my work, please use the affiliate links. This is going to mean so much to me and this is going to support my work. It's going to help me to buy more products, to review more, more products for you. So thank you in advance to everyone who uses my affiliate links during the Black Friday sales. So the first thing that I'm going to do during the Black Friday sales is I'm going to have a look at the, my favorite brands and retailers and I'm going to see which ones are going to have good deals for the Black Friday sales. I'm going to, I have created a list for you as well with deals that I consider to be good. So I'm going to have links to those um, retailers and brands in the description box. And then I'm also going to make a list of the skincare products that I am going to buy and that I use all year round because the, this time of the year is the time when I usually restock. And even if I have a full bottle of a serum, let's say, or a face cream, I'm usually going to buy another one just to restock because it doesn't make sense for me. I am not going to stop doing my skincare. So if I can buy my favorite luxury skincare this time of the year at a discount, I'm going to do so because I'm anyways going to spend more like let's say three four months later so that's why i'm usually going to increase a little bit my budget during this time of the year so i'm going to start with one of my favorite brands and this is clé de Peau beauté and they currently have incredible sales um, and they also have gifts with purchase i'm going to have all of the details in the description box because they don't want to take too much too much of your time but it's definitely worth checking out their website right now. I always shop for Clé de Peau makeup and skincare during the Black Friday sales because it's one of my favorite brands. They have incredible makeup, skincare, and if you have been tired lately from the latest beauty releases, I think it's worth checking out Clé de Peau because they have high performance makeup and skincare products that are suitable for people who are 30 plus years old. They perform really nice. So the two skincare products that I always buy during the Black Friday sales, and these are in my cart, I'm waiting for, for the discounts just to be applied for me, are the Hydro Softening Lotion. And this is like a beauty secret that I've never, I think that I've never shared this. Uh, I always buy this product during the Black Friday sales because it really makes a difference in the way my skin looks. Now, if you look at the ingredient list, it's not something like you don't find any miracles in the ingredient list, but it does miracles for my skin. So the Hydro Softening Lotion is the one product, skincare product from Clay Depot, the number one that I'm going to recommend um, because currently you can get it at discount. I always buy it this time of the year and it lasts me for a whole year. And lately, this last year, actually I finished it a little bit earlier because Nick started using it a lot. Nick has rosacea prone skin and this works really nice for his skin as well. It is a little bit thicker than water 
water um, and it works great. So for skincare from Clay Depot, I'm buying the Hydro Softening Lotion and the Intensive Fortifying Lotion. They also have the lotion as a cream, but I prefer the lotion because it really helps to restore, replump my skin. And I would probably get actually two of these because Nick started using the Hydro Softening Lotion as well but he uses it he uses it morning and evening and i only use it in the evening and we finished the hydro softening lotion much earlier this year but this one is a game changer for me these are two products that i always buy and will buy during the black friday sales and then moving on to two other skincare products i currently have actually restocks from these but i see that this my favorite face serum from longcom is currently 50 percent off at nordstrom nordstrom is one of my favorite retailers especially for beauty and makeup products and i often link to nordstrom because they have very easy return policy um, they also offer beauty points they offer gifts with purchases and they have a lot of packs when you shop from nordstrom and currently my favorite serum face serum is 50 percent off get this one i'm going to have a link in the description get this one i this one really makes a difference in my skin i use it every morning and it's brilliant it's a brilliant product i even sometimes use it a little bit under my eyes they also have an eye serum which again i use i love i have it here actually this is the eye serum but this one like get this one i really recommend this one and then the other one that i always restock and keep restocking is the clarins hydro essential serum this one is quite new it was launched last year but i use fast this one usually and after that this one and then the last skincare product that i buy during the black friday sales this is i always restock on the um, this is the lancome absolute the soft cream i like this one because it works and this is my nighttime cream sometimes when my skin is not in a good condition i use it also in the morning but again, these are the skincare products that I always restock during the Black Friday sales because again, this one is quite expensive and right now at Nord Nordstrom, they have incredible sets. And the set actually includes a big cream, big face cream, then a small face cream. They have different options and they also have a set with the serum. I would say that I like the serum, I kind of like the serum, but I prefer the soft cream. Get the set with the soft cream. This is the one that I always buy and I have been buying it for years. And you always keep asking me what I use on my skin. These are basically the products that I use on my skin. And the only two products that I haven't shown are probably the Clay Depot Hydro Softening Lotion and the Emulsion. These are two products that I haven't shown because I've never done my nighttime skincare i have done many get ready with me videos let me know if you want me to do a get unready with me so like a nighttime skincare routine because the reason why you have never seen the clay Depot skincare products is because i use them at night and you've never seen my nighttime skincare routine so leave a comment if you want to see a video with my nighttime favorites and nighttime skincare routine but um okay we finished with the mandatory products that I'm always restocking during the Black Friday sales and that are going to be my recommendations. I think that now is the time to try these products if you haven't tried them and I know that a lot of you have already tried them over the past years because I have been mentioning these products, some of these products and a lot of you have said that they work really nice for you. So these were the mandatory product now make sure to check out nordstrom's black friday sales because they have products that are up to 50 percent off which is incredible next we're moving on to the fun part we're moving on to makeup i have a few makeup products that i wanted to recommend um, during the black friday sales these are i'm gonna start with clay depot because of the sale that they currently have and because a lot of you know i love clay depot makeup they their products are quite pricey, so I would say that now is a great time to invest in something if you want to. My number one makeup product from Clay Depot is going to be, like if I could only recommend one product, this is definitely going to be one of their highlighters, any of their highlighters. And the one that I have today on my skin is actually... The one that I have today on my skin is this one. I'm going to make sure. Now these are refillable. So if you want, you can only buy, like I have a few of these, but if you want, you can only buy one case and then you can buy as many refills as you like. 
Um, and I have two cases and I have more refills from these and I just tend to change them. So today on my skin, I have this one. This is a cool toned highlighter. I'm going to write it on the screen because I need to just um, pop it out. I need to pop it out because this is a refill in here. And I think that it's, oh, it's actually 201 Twilight Glow. So Twilight Glow is one of my favorites because it's a cool toned color. So you can tone it down as much as you like, or you can really build it up to get a more intense shine. I have used those also on my eyes sometimes, but this is like the number one product and the number one highlighter that I would recommend. They are pricey, but they're worth the splurge. Now mine, my highlighters are already uh, used, loved, so you're not going to see the beautiful design, but this is definitely going to be one of the best gifts for anyone who loves makeup. I just wanted to show you how finely milled those are. You can see here on my hands. And so this is 202 and it's a warm toned highlighter and this is 201, which is like more flashy. This one is a cool toned highlighter. Both are my favorites. I have like a two more, which I could not find now, but because they are like in the refills, but whichever you choose, they have the best, the most finely milled texture and they're the best highlighters out there. Another product that I always keep buying during the Black Friday sales and I buy a new one every year, even though here it says that it can be used for 24 months. This is their soft matte foundation. This is the Radiant Fluid Matte Foundation. And this is the best foundation that I have because it is a straight medium coverage foundation. It blurs pores, imperfections, and it looks exactly like skin. And just a little bit goes a long way. This is the best foundation that I have. There is no doubt about that. It beats all of my foundations. If I want my skin to look good, this is the one that I go for. And also for special occasions, this is the one that I choose. Another product that I wanted to recommend is for the holiday season. So for the holiday season, my favorite red lipstick is from Caledipo. And if right now I had to choose only one red lipstick to own, this is definitely going to be Legend of Rouge by Clay de Poe. It's not the one that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing another color, but this is the most beautiful, well-balanced red color that I have in my collection. Chanel used to have beautiful reds um, in the past, but it's really hard to beat this one. This is Legend of Rouge. It is one of the best reds. Um, and I actually used this one for a makeup look last year. And I'm going to make sure to link the video. Now, Legend of Rouge comes in a satin finish and a matte finish. I prefer the matte finish. It's my favorite just because it gives a soft blurring effect to the lips. It blurs lines and imperfections imperfections and it's unlike any matte lipstick that I have. So if you're looking for a non-drying matte lipstick, this is the one to go for. And now we're moving on to my wish list from Clarifa. Okay, I have one more product that I actually have and I wanted to recommend to you. I know that a lot of you um a lot of you have been very frustrated because Chanel years ago Chanel discontinued their um TC Mademoiselle quad. If you liked TC Mademoiselle, you're probably going to like this quad from Clé de Peau. It is my favorite quad for business meetings, for any kind of work. For work, I use this one always, all the time. So if you have similar skin tone like mine and you want something that is very elegant, um, very easy to wear, you don't have to think when you use these eyeshadows, this is the one to go for. And if you used to love TC Mademoiselle, I think you're going to like this one as well. It's not a dupe, but just um, it's a very sophisticated eyeshadow quad. And I need to pull this out to see the color. Let's pull it out actually. This is very easy. So it very easily pops out. You don't need a pin for the eyeshadows. So it is number one, Sand Dune. This is the color. This is one that I would definitely recommend. Now we're moving on to my wish list. Now for my wish list, I want uh, two of the diamond lipsticks from Clay de Peau, and I want one of the reds and one of the pink ones. I still cannot choose the color I'm going to show you because I'm going to place my order in 
like in a few hours, I'm going to have a discount on Clay de Peau. So I'm going to buy two of the diamond lipsticks and I'm going to show you one of my next videos when my order arrives, but I want the diamond lipsticks from Clay de Peau. This is on my wish list for this year. And I also want the holiday eyeshadow palette. They still have it and I want to get it on discount because it's probably one of the most beautiful holiday eyeshadow palettes this year because it's very tender, beautiful. The embossing is gorgeous as well. So these are the three products that the five products that I'm actually going to buy from Clay Depot because I'm restocking also the Hydro Softening Lotion and the Face Emulsion, the Nighttime Emulsion. So these are going to be my five purchases from Clay Depot. Next, let's go ahead and build my dream card. There is, by the way, at Nordstrom currently, there is a discovery set from Zerjov. And I would highly, highly recommend this one because the fragrances are incredibly expensive. They are quite unique. They are nice and it's a great way to discover them. So one fragrance that is on my wish list is La Capitale from Zerjov. I absolutely love this fragrance and I want it and this is a gift uh, it's going to be a gift from me to me and this is an oriental vanilla fragrance it has notes of strawberry caramel peach it has also leather uh, but it's not too intense it has ginger and rose and then the base is bourbon vanilla and benzoin so this one is soft it is sweet it is intense, it is um, very nice, well-balanced vanilla fragrance, slightly smoky. Um, it has a lot of character, so this fragrance definitely has a lot of character. It's something that I want to add to my collection. It's not a fragrance that I would wear every single day, but I would say that it's one of the most seductive fragrances. I only had a sample from this fragrance and it would get me so many compliments. I wore the sample for three days and it would get me so many compliments. And this one is on my wish list, on my dream wish list. It's actually a new fragrance that just launched at Nordstrom at the moment. Um, so I'm going to have a link, have a look at it. Try it out if you can, and also maybe buy the Discovery set from Zerjov because this is an excellent way to try their fragrances. Sometimes when you try them in store, it's not the same as trying them and wearing them for a day. So I highly, highly recommend this Discovery set because this one is going to sell out quite quickly. I just saw that, as I'm talking here, I just saw my favorite foundation brush that is from Clé de Peau. If you are 25 plus, if you're under 25, this one is not for you. Don't, don't mind me. But if you're 25 plus, you need this foundation brush. Um, if you had at least like one time when you were not happy with the way your foundation looks, this is the best foundation brush that I have ever had, like ever. And this is something that I would definitely recommend. It's the high coverage foundation brush from Clay Depot, and I meant to share this with you. Sometimes I mean to share something, I mean to show you something, but I just forget. So I forgot to share this with you. This brush, if you don't have it, you need it. You need this brush, definitely need this brush. Another fragrance that I have on my wish list is Dama Bianca by Casa Murati. This one is really a light, fluffy, beautiful fragrance. Dama Bianca is not a new fragrance to me. I used to have this one and now I want to repurchase it. It's a very soft, floral, woody musk fragrance. Let me go ahead and tell you some of the notes. So it has violet, iris, lilac, jasmine, lily of the valley. It has white musk, vanilla, sandalwood, and it starts off with a little bit of lime. It's, um, it's very feminine. It's tender, it's elegant. For me, it's suitable for all occasions. So let's say if La Capitale is really this very, uh, quite, I would say, sexy, seductive fragrance in a way, because it attracts a lot of attention from males. For some reason, every time I wore it, um, there was a male that really liked this fragrance on me. Dama Bianca is more elegant. It is more office friendly, but it's something that I used to wear a lot. I used to enjoy this fragrance a lot. Next on my wish list, this is going to come as a big surprise. Again, it's a fragrance, but these are expensive products that I usually like to buy, even though most of them are probably not going to buy with a discount, but still I like to buy them during this time of the year because I like to treat myself to something nice. It's the holiday season, so I think that we also deserve a little bit of attention and some attention from me to me because I work the whole year, so I deserve a little attention. So my last fragrance purchase is going to be from Ubigon 
And this one is Quelque Fleur Royale. It is a white floral fragrance with some honey, with some tuberose. It is, let me go ahead and read you the notes actually. I never had this fragrance, but it has top notes of grapefruit and bergamot. I've tried it. Uh, and then the hard notes are mimosa, honey, tuberose, rose, jasmine, and then the base notes are orris, sandalwood, white musk, and amber. So it has a citrus opening, and then it's almost like a symphony of flowers um, hugging you, and then there is the sandalwood, the musk that make it quite addictive and that may give it this almost like addictive quality. This is a fragrance that not only gets me a lot of compliments, but it makes me happy. And it's exactly the kind of fragrance that for me personally, it's seasonless. A lot of people are going to say maybe spring and summer, but for me, this fragrance is seasonless and I want it. And so let's sum it up. La Capitale is definitely going to be a little bit deeper. I would say try it out fast because of the leather note and because it has a certain amount of smokiness. So it's not going to be for everyone. And Zerjoff are usually going to be a little bit more like, um, with a lot of character, so it's not going to suit everyone. But then this one, Ubigon, it's, um, it's a classic fragrance. It's a classic, beautiful floral fragrance with a fresh citrus opening, a musky base. It's just um, a fairy tale for me. And also Dama Bianca, again, a beautiful white floral fragrance that I it's hard to go wrong with such fragrance. Now, last but not least, I wanted to share with you a fragrance that I really like and this one is from Killian. I think that it's um, very suitable for the season. This one is one that I got for Nick but I use it as well and we forgot that we have it and now I was organizing my fragrances and I just saw that I have it so I thought that I'm going to share this with you. I think that it's also a really nice gift um, from you to you and you can use it together with your partner because this is like a genderless fragrance. I would say that it's very unisex and it's this is Angel's Share from Killian. I was thinking that I'm going to wear this one during the summer months but I didn't wear it during the summer months. Nick was wearing it a few times during the summer months. I have to say that for summer nights this one is nice a little goes a long way with this fragrance. It smells different on me and on Nick, but it's such a beautiful, boozy, um, very spicy, cozy fragrance, but with a lot of character. It's not sweet and it's probably the best unisex fragrance that I have in my collection. I'm trying to think now, but it's the only fragrance that actually me and Nick, we both wear together. So I would recommend this one as well this is what is on my wish list. My wish list is not long, uh, but at the same time, it is reasonable. These are products that I know I'm going to use and I know I'm going to love. It has been planned ahead of time. So these are the products that I'm going to purchase these days during the Black Friday sales. Okay, friends, and now to sum it up, um, because I want to really be helpful with this video, I would say for the Black Friday sales, make a clear strategy and first buy the products that you need and that you're going to use. These are going to be skincare products that you know you're going to buy, let's say in two, three months. So if you see a skincare product that is currently 50% off or 30, 40% off, it's definitely worth buying this one. Or if it's a luxury skincare and it's 20% off, definitely buy it now instead of paying 20% more two, three months later. So definitely restock fast on your skincare, on the products that you're going to buy anyways. Let's say if you want to buy a makeup product, think whether you're going to use it and ask yourself the question, how much I'm going to use this product, how it fits into my whole makeup style. Let's say if it's um, a lot of brands released now, this very shimmering highlighters that are not suitable for the office. And this might be a product that you might want to skip even during the Black Friday sales, because if you're not going to use it a lot, when it comes to beauty purchases, I think it's important to make you happy, but also to use it to, let's say if it's a product that you're only going to use once or twice for the holiday night, then it's not worth the splurge. It's not worth buying it during the Black Friday sales because even though it is tempting, make sure to try to make a clear strategy on the products that you want to buy 
and think whether you're going to use them, whether you're going to enjoy them as well. And I think that this is going to help you to make the right decision for your beauty purchases. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for joining me in this video. Don't forget to let me know what is on your wish list. I can't wait to read your comments. Um, what are you planning to purchase during the Black Friday sales? And until next time, bye.